guys, I'm back again today with another reaction video and today we're reacting to 10 lies you were told about Islam. Anyways, before we do start, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, click the bell button to get notified whenever I do upload a video. So anyways guys, let's check this out. It's gonna be interesting. 10 lies you were told about Islam. Number 10. Muslims hate the West. Online news publication Now the End Begins, which has over 150,000 followers, stated that all Muslim children are taught to hate the West. What do they mean by the West? Like America? An extensive survey conducted by the Institute of Social Policy and Understanding contradicts this theory. The study involved asking 50,000 Muslims across 35 countries, what do you admire most about the West? Research found that this idea of widespread negative opinion toward the Western world is completely false. Mm -hmm. And only 2% of me. Muslims in Iran and 6% in Saudi Arabia said they admired nothing. Oh. Number 9. Terrorist training camps. Martin Moyer, founder of the anti-Islam Christian Action Network, claimed oh, that think about camps this. exist across <coughs> America, training Muslims for terrorist activity. In his book, Twilight in America, he describes the town of Islamburg in New York that supposedly holds bunkers, automatic weapons, and an airfield where Muslims can receive training. Islamburg is in fact just a tranquil town of 40 families, founded mm. in the 1980s by African-American Muslims escaping racism from New York City. Moyer's claims were quashed by the New York State Police, who explained that the State Police were invited to their lands. I don't know any other place where, if something nefarious was occurring, they would willingly invite law enforcement officers to come and have lunch. Exactly. Number eight. Some people just no don't research zones. and In are close-minded. In January Katie McFarland, the national security analyst for Fox News, exposed the existence of 750 no-go zones across France. Hmm. She revealed that the areas prohibit non-Muslims from entering and operate under strict Sharia law where ambulances have access only by police escort. McFarland's statements were pure speculation, as these supposed no-go zone areas were simply towns that French authorities prioritized for urban renewal and state aid. The Some news! The oh. Council approved a lawsuit Annoying. to sue Fox News for reporting such nonsense. Yep, they should. Number seven, Islamic terrorist world domination. During his presidential campaign, Jeb Bush stated that the biggest threat today is Islamic terrorism. However, research conducted by the University of North Carolina found that out of the 190,000 Americans murdered since 9-11, only 37 deaths were linked to Islamic extremists. Moreover, Europol found that Islamists were responsible for just 0.7% of terror attacks But that's the one Europe that they freaking find, right? And 2013. Number 6. Celebrating 9-11 In 2015, as part of his presidential campaign, Donald Trump made a speech claiming that he saw TV footage of thousands and thousands of Muslims in New Jersey cheering as the World Trade Center was attacked. This controversial accusation prompted a media investigation into the matter, which found no video evidence. I'm sorry to pause, but I just can't, like... Uh, some people are so small-minded, so naive, and also the fact that a lot of people believe before they actually do their research is so, like, unbelievable. And I, until today, like I keep saying, I still have friends that believe such things without knowing anything to it than what they see on social media or media itself. Oh, this is just giving me a headache. Like, seriously. Jerry Spezial, the police commissioner of Patterson, New Jersey, which has the second largest Muslim population in the U.S., stated, There were no flags burning, no one was dancing. That is totally false. Number five. ISIS represents looks. Islam. Father Douglas Al-Vazi, a Catholic parish priest in Erbil, Iraq, stated that, Anyone who still thinks ISIS doesn't represent Islam, know they are wrong. ISIS represents Islam 100%. In reality, ISIS is not just un-Islamic, it is anti-Islamic. 
And in the first eight months of And Isis is a goddess, anyways. A god, I mean. G O D. Not. The terror organization has also. I mean, she's a goddess. Is it a goddess? Yeah. Bombing mosques across. So it doesn't even represent Islam because Islam doesn't believe in God, like G O D, the small G. The Center for Security G. Policy, a U.S. think tank known for engaging in conspiracy theories. Claimed that 25% of Muslim Americans support violence against other Americans. Donald Trump subsequently used this statistic during his presidential campaign. Closer investigation found that the center is run by Frank Gaffney, an identified anti Muslim, and that a mere 600 people were interviewed during research. Extensive research conducted by the Pew Research Center identifies 1.6 billion Muslims in the world of which only 0.006625% identify with extremism. Number 3. Only Muslims in Birmingham. In 2015, no. Fox News brought American journalist and supposed Islamic extremism expert Stephen Emerson onto the show. Emerson proceeded to claim that the city of Birmingham in England is entirely Muslim. No. And non Muslims are banned from entering. Emerson's statement has been disproven by the yeah, UK. Yeah, because I watch vloggers who are which not. states that only 14.5% of Birmingham residents are in fact Muslim. In response to the vastly this, incorrect. I know claim, this is good that David they are said, debunking the lies and all that, but like for people who believe this, they are. This guy is clearly a complete idiot. That's the right word of. Number two. It's good he said Muslim it. Muslim women are oppressed. Britain First, the far-right fascist political party, states that women are oppressed by Islam. Muslim women are expected to cover their entire bodies with a niqab or burqa. In fact, the Quran merely states that women should guard their modesty and does not order any particular dress. Mm. Moreover, the claim that Islam oppresses women is a sweeping generalization. In many cases, Muslim women are often highly educated, such as in Iran, I've where more women that, attend actually. higher education than men. Number one, Muslims must kill people of other religions. 2016 Republican presidential candidate Ben Carson took to Facebook to voice his opinion that he would not support a Muslim president. He slandered Islam further, writing, "Under Sharia law, I don't know how people can." Soviet. People following other religions be open to be everything else the than Quran religion. Specifically says the opposite, Me. stating one who kills a non-Muslim person under protection will not even smell the fragrance of paradise. And whoever hurts a non-Muslim, I shall be adversary to him on the day of resurrection. Okay, so we made this video because we feel that Islam gets a very bad rep in the press, so we decided to put some truth on what's lies and what's bullshit. Yeah, I like it. I love you guys. I love people like this who are super open minded. I don't know if they are Muslim, but uh, I doubt it. Probably not, but I'm not so sure about that. But for them to make a video like this is really good because there's a lot of dumb people out there that believe every single thing without knowing a fact. And then the reason why I'm like super like mad about situations like this because in every aspect of your life there is like criticism stereotypes discrimination so if i'm not gonna be open-minded about other religions then how can i expect others to be open-minded about my race maybe or about like my background and all that so that's why i'm super open-minded to everything and I, I i redo my research i see like uh what is true what is not true you know before i even judge someone or even if i like i, I try my best not to judge people because like you don't know the person themselves you cannot just put a label on them just because of their religion or their race or all that so it's really it's so dumb and when i ha meet people who like always say things about like islam and i'm like really what if one of our friends was muslim then what then what if like they're the best person on earth but then they tell you i'm muslim then are you just gonna like stop being friends with them just because of that so i'm like 
Oh, I don't even know if I'm making sense. But anyways, let me know your comments and opinions down in the um, the comment section down below. If you like this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you soon. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I kind of forgot. <laughs>